Hi everyone, and thank you for tuning back into Erin Meets World. My name's Erin, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing a review of the Hot Toys Infinity War Doctor Strange figure, which I actually received a few months ago, uh, right before I went to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Uh, but I decided that since that content is kind of locked behind being able to go to Disneyland, I figured it actually superseded uh, in importance uh, the Hot Toys figures, which many other people already have. Uh, but anyways, I did want to get back to this guy because it's actually one of my favorite Hot Toys figures. It is immaculately tailored. The head sculpt is spot on sitting on the shelf here next to the Mark 50 Iron Man with the Tony Stark head sculpt. Um, and I also have Spider-Man uh, Iron Spider just out of frame as well. Uh, his head sculpt stands out as being the most accurate out of the three, especially from a distance, in my opinion. Um, and I'm just really happy with him. He is probably one of the most accurate and best looking Hot Toys figures that I have. I did actually have the original Doctor Strange from the Doctor Strange movie. And that one was also pretty much just as good, but I do have to say that I do like this one better. And I did end up selling the other one so that I could get this one for three main reasons. Um, the first one is actually the base. Uh, I do not have a lot of space to display these figures and the original Doctor Strange did come with that kind of baseball diamond base, much larger than the typical bases that you get for like Infinity War figures. Um, so this base is a lot smaller, um, but still lifts him up so you can do some kind of floating in the air poses if you really wanted to. Um, so as far as space limitations, that's a more practical reason why I prefer this one over the other one, um, but it definitely factored into it. Um, the second reason is the head sculpt. Um, both of them are spot on Benedict Cumberbatch, but for what I wanted for kind of an overall Avengers display, I felt like the head sculpts were kind of indicative and elicited a feeling of Doctor Strange's experience level at the time. So I feel like the Infinity War head sculpt, he does come off as a more experienced Doctor Strange than the original head sculpt does, and rightfully so. Um, but I mean, as far as the paint apps and all of that goes, uh, they're both spot on. You're not going to mistake him for anyone else, and they're both great. So I feel like this is going to come down to personal preference, but just for the feeling that the head sculpt gives off, I do prefer this one to the other one as far as what he feels like when displaying him with other Avengers type figures. Um, and then the third reason I like this one better, and it's a very small reason, but there's a few extra accessories that I really liked and really wanted. One of them being his flaming sword, which he did use briefly in Infinity War to fight Thanos. Um, I think it's a really cool accessory, um, which does set him apart. I don't think there's been any other figure in the Marvel movies up to this point, or character in the Marvel movies up to this point, that's used any type of sword, if we discount Deadpool and some of the stuff outside of that. Um, so I uh, really like that accessory. So those were my th three reasons. Um, and, you know, you can leave some of that up to personal preference. Some people might not display him with the sword or with any accessories. Uh, until I did this video and kind of switched some things out, I didn't have him displayed with any accessories and he looks amazing on his own. Uh, that's one of the cool things with a magic character is he doesn't really need anything. Um, as far as the tailoring goes, uh, I didn't have my old figure side by side with him to compare, but it's pretty much the exact same quality as far as the tailoring goes. Uh, the cape, I feel like, is slightly different, but still looks just as good. Um, it is a little bit harder to get it into the right place to sit on him correctly. Um, there are magnets on the gold wing pieces um, that, uh, that hold it into place. Um, but th if I recall on the original, it, they were actually in the shoulder, which made it easier to kind of sink it into place 
and a combination of the magnets and gravity held into place, while this one has a much smaller area for those magnets to hold the cape into place. Um, and I guess that'd be my only minor complaint is with the magnets holding the cape in place. Um, but once you get it, it's gonna sit there and stay in place. It's not like it's gonna slide out of it. So it is a really minor complaint. Um, anyways, uh, like I said, when I started this video, I have to say this is one of my favorite figures just off of how great it looks from the head sculpt to the tailoring and everything in between. Uh, it's definitely a figure that can sit on your shelf and really looks realistic, or if you're going to do some toy photography with it, it really looks realistic. Uh, while, you know, sitting next to the Mark 50, where you see some of the joints, especially in the legs, uh, you know, it doesn't look as real as it could if it had cloth components. Um, but I, I, I think it's definitely a standout piece, this Doctor Strange. Uh, so if you don't have one, you should try to pick it up. Um, if you prefer the other one, you should also try to get that one while this one's still available because it would be driving prices down. Well, once this one disappears, then prices on all Doctor Strange are going to skyrocket. So if you want either one, now is probably the time to get it. This guy has been out for quite a while. So who knows when it's going to go low stock. It could be any time now. I do feel like this is a very popular character. Um, but luckily there's another movie in the pipeline. Although I'm theorizing that they're probably going to change his outfit with this next one since he's now appeared in four movies, if you include Thor Ragnarok, Infinity War, and Endgame, with basically the exact same outfit, I'm, be I'm betting they're going to change it in the next one. So if you want this uh, Infinity Saga version of a Doctor Strange, I think now is the time to get it. So you should probably jump on that. He's definitely worth it. He is a very good piece. He's a standout piece. Um, I've said that probably like five times now, but I just want to drive it home. He's a really good figure. He's worth the money. Uh, so anyways, if you have any questions about him, please let me know uh, in the comments. Uh, please give me a like, please share, and as always, please subscribe if you aren't. I have more Hot Toys reviews in the pipeline. I have not done this Mark 50 yet, and I have plenty of older figures that I do plan on getting to at some point as well. Uh, I still have a few more Galaxy's Edge items to cover and a lot of other things that unrelated to hot toys that I do want to get to at some point as well, uh, but still definitely fall into nerd culture. So anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.